Let's talk yeah. drums now. What are the kits that you now have and use? Uh, I have two two Star Classic uh, drum kits. The first one is a maple one, uh, which has a more uh, more dry, more 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 sharpy, more like a, a high frequency or oriented uh, uh, sound. Uh, in terms of the kick drum and the toms tube and a snare drum, and the other one is a is a birds bobinga one, uh, which uh, which has a more fat uh, type of, uh, type of sound. The sizes are a little bit different. I mean the uh, the maple one has uh, uh, like 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 22 by 20, and uh, and the toms are a little bit shorter, like 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 10 by 7, and and then 14 by 12 and 16 by 14, but the 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 birds bobinga one uh, uh, has uh, a little bit more more typical sizes uh, just like this one it's mm. it's uh, eight, 18 by 22 and 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 8 by 10 and and 14 by 14 and and, and 16 by 16 mm -hmm. yeah I'm, uh, both uh, both has a totally different sound yeah. uh, totally diff different character and 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 both are are great. And also, I have several snare drums. I have a, a exactly a full that's a fetish for yeah. a lot of drummers. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Yeah, let's me too. Talk, let's talk fetish. Now. Let's let, let's talk fetish. Oh, okay. So, uh, I have a snare drum which is a full bubinga. It's a uh, fourteen by uh, uh, by six and a half, which. Uh, uh, which is really fat. Like I, th I, th I think it's it's uh, it's a uh, twelve ply, uh, so it's it's really heavy, with a power hoop and everything. It's it's re really loud. It's it's at least thirty or 30, forty percent louder than than the regular snare drum of of, uh, of the birch bubinga yeah. or the maple. Uh, it's that was uh, that was inc uh, that was Im unbelievable. I, I already it. like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's yeah. Said. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I also have a, a, a an SLP snare drum, which is uh, which is thirteen by seven, and uh, uh, it's it's also a a, a, a tem tem uh, tem ply thick uh, uh, S maple wood. It's a dry sound, a really loud, with a power hoop, and uh, and it it perfectly uh, fits in into a. a an oldish re uh, rock recording. If you have to play a slow tempo, and 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 a simple groove, and if you pitch it down, and just like a dish, 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 mm -hmm. that's great because of 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 of, of uh, the seven depth. And if I pitch it up, the both heads, it's perfect. It's totally perfect for doing any kind of drum and bass things too. So it's a and also <coughs> uh, the sound of that snare drum. I, I love it because the 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 mechanic of the strainer is, is totally perfect, and uh, and it contains a really high frequency sounds and oh, and also the really deep at the same time. So uh, so it's not necessary to use uh, use two mics, one 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 for the strainer and and and, and one for the top, because with one microphone it's it's. Totally, totally perfect with a mm -hmm. simple SM57, and that's it. Yeah. That's that's perfect sound. The kit that you used tonight w is a Star Classic, yeah. as well. Yeah, it's here courtesy of the Avon Drum Shop from yeah. Poznan, Poland. Thanks what for, do you thanks, think of this kit? Thanks again. I love it. Uh, you know, the sound of this drum kit is also totally different than my 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 drum sets have at mm. at home. So. So this is a walnut one, and uh, and it's absolutely great. As I see, uh, the 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 shell of the toms and the, and the kick drum is more like thin, uh, like like four, four four ply as I see, maybe five, but uh, but really re really really clear sound, mm -hmm. and the art articulation even of the floor toms and the kick drum when when I played uh, really fast things that was that was totally clear. So uh, also, it's it's uh, it's difficult to play on uh, this drum fast things because if I if I if I make a mistake, it's 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 uh, uh, it's hearable immediately, you know. So it's uh, it's 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 difficult, but it's 
But it's a, a yeah. great drum set, yeah. The I snare, like the main snare, is the Capo uh, series, right? Yeah, this is Have a new one. Have you had yeah. any contact with those this series? Not before? yet. No, no, no. So this is the very think? first time. It's great. Absolutely great. The great. Uh, 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 it it has a nice nice overtones of of of, of the shell. They're really powerful. So it's, it's so that's a loud snare. I, I actually, I don't like at all the snare drums, which. Uh, which don't have have enough volume. I um, mm. I don't know why. So it's 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 not good. You know, I I had a chance to 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 check out to check out uh, uh, some some old drum sets in in the states. Like uh, uh, and, uh, two weeks before, I I had a gig in in, in New York with the Loop Doctors project, and uh, we played played at the New Blue. Uh, New Blue is a uh, is a famous music club there, and they have a really old DD. DW drum set. Uh, I got a Tama, Tama drum set, but there was a, a, a really old old Slingerland there from the from from 1950 maybe or yeah. or something like this. And I thought like like what, what a crappy drum. I I I didn't realize first because, because there was there was dark on the uh, on the backstage and 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 I I, I, I saw some some uh, some some snare drums over there and one of these was was a typical old school look something and what was that yeah, I want to check it out and there was a really bad top head or I think a really bad like like there was a uh, whole brown just like this you know no 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 no, no any white wh uh, wh white point and uh, and I hit the snare drum with my hands and I was, and I was what was that uh, oh, look, give me a sticks and uh, uh, and I tried it and it was so fucking loud and so great sound and I I checked out and 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 oh that's a slingerland okay okay everything's clear okay that's it right. thanks very much that, that's it yeah so yeah so so the so the old drums uh, the, the the old drums uh, had almost all 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 the the the, uh, the old school drum drum sets. Uh, had 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 a huge volume, so mm -hmm. I think I th I think the the great drums has a huge volume, and then you can decide if you want to play soft. If if you have a have a great great dr great, great drum set like this one, you you will be be able to 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 play as soft as you want, and and as loud as you want mm -hmm. too. Sure. But you know I I had some some. Uh, uh, some drum sets in my in in my practice rooms in the in in the last 15 years just for teaching uh, which would like like a cheap cheap drum sets and and even the sound was good uh, I couldn't play too much on these drum sets because the uh, because the volume level has, ha, ha, has stopped like here and if you play something it, oh, but there is no sound more it's 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 Totally not. It's not. Uh, it's not an inspiring yeah. something because because I really need need volume. Just like mm. maybe I sh should be a, a heavy metal guitar player, right? <laughs> to to push the <laughs> right. to, to, to push the volume up. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, we talked about it yesterday off camera that a lot of those those yeah. jazz drummers actually hit really hard. Absolutely, absolutely. To like most of the yeah. greatest ones. Yeah, Tony Williams. Yeah. Check out Tony Williams playing these muscles. Yeah. And play like this, but like an animal. But Gary but, Novak. But, yeah, right. Gary Novak yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, but if you check out Tony Williams playing, if they play, they are really sensitive and 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 more like. Uh, uh, more, more, uh, more deep, so, uh, deep song with the double bass who who played so soft and a piano player. He he could play uh, yeah. a, a re really really soft, and 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 he kept the 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 same type of really really tight time yeah. playing and everything. So yeah. yeah.